I get emotional. I got like really insecure. I'm not good enough. He get to throw my stuff outside. The neighborhood starts to come out. Did you punch him in the throat? I fought his sister and his baby mama and I hit him with my car and his mama. They knew it's new, new. If you're new to my channel, I want to say hey, returning viewer, what it do, gang, gang? By the title, you guys can tell I'm doing a QA and a story time of telling when my first real heartbreak happened. Hope you guys can take some advice from this, learn a few things, and yeah, just enjoy the video. Let me know how you guys like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure that post notification bell is on because don't be late, be on time. Were you on time this video? Comment below if you were on time. Let's get into the video. Let's get started on this hair in this story time. Where do I begin? So my first heartbreak, I don't even really know how to explain it. <laughs> Necessarily, this wasn't my first heartbreak, but I felt like this was my first real heartbreak since I was grown, if that makes sense. I felt like the kids stuff don't really count, like high school, middle school, it don't really count. I feel like this one, you know, he did his big one. So we're gonna call him Mustard. Let me give y'all a rundown of me and Mustard. Mustard was my man, 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 my man. We went everywhere together. We did everything together. Um, like that was my man. You couldn't tell me nothing about my man. You know, it started off peaches and cream. Y'all already know that's how I normally be. It's all good. And then. It just started going downhill. I started realizing how controlling he was. I would try to go places and do things without him. And he'd kind of just be in my business or think I was doing something. He was very insecure. It came to a point where I stopped dressing up. I stopped going places. I stopped doing stuff with my friends. Basically, I just kind of stopped loving myself. I stopped coming around my family. The reason why I stopped coming around my family is because they knew that deep down that I really wasn't happy. And you know, at the time you be in love and you don't be wanting to hear like somebody telling you, oh, they're not good for you and stuff like that. When you're in love, you don't see it from others perspective. You see it from your perspective. Like this is the person I want to be with. That's it. That's that. You don't see it from their perspective mom and my family you know they would be concerned like why are you not coming around more what's going on i really didn't have an excuse i just didn't come around this is when i was in college i would stay at his house more um i started slacking on my schoolwork. i would put my stuff behind for him and his family like say for instance if his mom needed a ride I would um, skip class to give his mom a ride and just stuff, stupid stuff like that. So it started to get physical with him. By that, I mean, he would put his hands on me and I do not condone in any of this, ladies. This is not love. Do not let somebody put their hands on you and tell you that they're sorry because they will do it again. And again, put pictures screen because I still have them as a reminder to know, like, don't ever let nobody treat me like that again. Manipulation, putting your hands on people, that's not love at all. Things started to get worse and worse. And <coughs> is that even a word? Yeah, things started to get worse. I feel like because he was in such a dark place that I just really tried to be there for him and understand where he was coming from. When in reality, I should have just left him. The main incident that happened to us breaking up felt like he was talking to somebody. You know, like how you get that gut feeling, that intuition. I felt that. And I'm like, okay. At this point, I feel like the relationship was already over. It just 
you know, I feel like we was just coexisting, just being around each other, being in each other's space, not really together, if that makes sense. Also, how his phone and stuff like that, but he can have my password, go through my phone. It was just a lot of weird stuff going on. Like, I wouldn't even necessarily say cheating because I feel like at that point, the relationship was already over, but I started talking back to my toxic man. Yeah, because I'm like, you ain't never finna have no one up on me. So, yeah, I did what I did. I used to take my phone, take my keys, not let me go nowhere. He was crazy. Real crazy. We eventually got into this big argument. I don't even remember what it was about, but we got into this big argument. And at the time, I was at my parents' house. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just get my stuff and I'm going to just leave. Like, I'm going to come back and get my stuff and I'm going to just leave. Because, you know, at this point, it's just getting toxic. You're putting your hands on me constantly. It's just, it's not going nowhere. He says, yeah, we can break up. Da, 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 da. I was already cheating, which I already knew because I told y'all I had that gut feeling. So guess what I do? I get in my car. And I am on my way to destruction, about to ruin some stuff up. Like, which I don't condone. Don't be out here ruining people's stuff. Just walk away, ladies, because walk away, ladies, guys, whoever, because it in the end, it don't be worth it. It don't. And then you look back at it and be like, oh my God, I was so silly. So I pull up, I come in the house. I'm like, okay, I'm finna get my stuff. She goes to get the talking. Like, oh, we've been having sex. It was like, reverse, uno car back on you. I've been doing me too. So, he gets mad and gets physical with me. I'm like, no, don't try to back me up in no corner. Let me just get my stuff and go. As I'm getting my stuff and go, he gets to throw my stuff outside. At this point, the neighborhood starts to come out and like, what is going on? You know, what's tea? His brother and his uh, girlfriend get to coming out the room. I'm like, you causing this scene for no reason. But he hit me. My nose was bleeding. And I'm like, nah. I'm going to fight back. Now I'm going to whoop you up. And that's exactly what I did. Girl, I was beating him up so bad that his brother had to jump in. Beating him up so bad that his brother jumped in. The girlfriend like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't jump in, don't, don't do that. He like telling her to get in the room, get in the room. So I'm beating him up on my own. His brother helped him to get on top of me to try to like beat me up. But anyways, I still won. Now my flat iron is on 450, it's hot. But I get in my car, I'm like, just forget it. I call my brother my brother at the time he was doing something so i couldn't get in contact with him so i called my best you know my best pulled up best knew the girlfriend that was there i guess because they went to school or whatever so best pulled up like what's going on you know best trying to get the contact clues because best don't play that okay so best talking to them like um they telling me like, oh, I need to leave. I'm like, I just want the rest of my stuff. Like, I just want the rest of my stuff so I can go. Like, that was the whole point of me coming over here is to get my stuff so I don't have to deal with you no more. The brother pulls the gun out. I'm like, come on, best, let's just let's just go. Best, like, no, <laughs> we're not gonna go. I'm like, okay, let's not be crazy here. You know, let's be reasonable here. You know, I can get my pots and pans and my clothes and stuff another day. Or, you know, just replace it. Because my life is not replaceable. Well, our life's not replaceable. So, I live. And still to this day, I never got some of my stuff back. But being with him, yeah, the situation has taught me to not ever let nobody physically hurt me. And when it's my time to go, I just need to go. Like, everything else is replaceable. Just go. Then he tried to follow me, y'all, and reach out to me. I'm like, no, nah, I'm cool. And then I told my mom about the situation. It made her cry because she really didn't know what was going on. But she figured that um, something was going on because I wasn't coming around. And if you know, you know, like, I'm always with my mom. Every vlog, everything I post, I'm always with my mom. So she knew that something was up.
yeah that's kind of like my first real heartbreak i guess you can say now my recent heartbreak that did not end good as well y'all but that's a whole different story time if y'all want to hear that let me know that one was crazy i want to answer a few questions that y'all had asked me my hair be getting poofy, like I straighten it. Y'all can see the dye is almost gone, but literally just the ends. Like the dye part is where it doesn't get straight and it's so irritating. How do you heal? So now these questions, I'm gonna go based off my recent heartbreak. How do you heal? Honestly, I'm not even fully healed. I'm still like healing, I guess you can say, because I have my moments where I get really, really sad. You just have to keep pushing and keep moving on. What helped me is really journaling. I've journaled my feelings so you can reflect and look back on that. Like, why would I go back to him? Why would I ever want to feel like that again? Why would I ever allow myself to go through that? Like, <clears throat> did you lose or gain weight after your heartbreak? Yes. That's another thing my family started to notice. I started losing like a lot of weight, like a lot. Um, to the point where my dad pulled me to the side and asked me like, are you okay? It's that noticeable that I'm really going through something. What's a good way to keep from thinking about them? Honestly, if you can work a job, I say work. Work, 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 work. Work so you can't work no more. All the flat irons went out. I'm talking about doing doubles after doubles after doubles after doubles after doubles. Getting your money back. You know? Be sad at work. You rather be sad at work or be sad at home not making no money? Be at work. And eventually, you're going to stop thinking about it. Eventually. I mean, it's really going to hit at nighttime. To be honest, at nighttime is really when it hits. Do hobbies that you like to do. Go on walks. Um, go on dates with your friends. Just do whatever to not be stuck in that mindset or thinking about them or wondering whatever they're doing. Did you punch him in the throat? Um, I fought his sister and his baby mama and I hit him with my car and his mama. Well, I do feel disappointed in myself because I allow somebody to get me out of my character to do that stuff. And that's not me. Like... That's not me no more. I don't want to ever feel like somebody is deserving my peace enough to the point where I can go act out of character. How's my current love life? Um, My current love life, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's dry. Like, I talk to people, but then they fade away. They don't be having no goals. And I changed my type of man because I love me a hood dude. Like, me and hood dudes used to go together real bad. I changed my type and I still can't find nobody. It's like, what is going on? Just men in general. Like, a lot of y'all have problems, like mental problems that maybe because y'all have to be that guy. Y'all ego has to be so big, big, like that y'all just have to fill it with so many women. Like, any and everybody, which is sad because that's mentally, that's a problem. Like that's, that's a problem. How do you start loving yourself again? I feel as if I'm still learning to love myself because when you get cheated on and the type of women and they all like look the same, it makes you Think about yourself like, I have anxiety, but I got so insecure. Like, I don't wanna get emotional, but I got like really insecure about myself. Like, am I not good enough? What am I doing wrong? But that's just me. Y'all have a problem, like, with cheating. Y'all have a problem. That is, like, a mental disability at this point. Man. If, if truly be in the men and what they be going through, remember that it takes two. 
It's not just him. It's him and his mama and his family. Okay? It ain't never you. Um, any advice for the young girlies out there? I say, I say do what's best for you. And honestly, don't focus on these boys because boys will come and go. Don't let boys ruin your friendships, get in between or manipulate you, put their hands on you, emotionally abuse you. Don't let these boys take you through no roller coaster or make you feel like you have to go through a roller coaster to be in love because that's not true. That's not real love. I grew up in a household with real love and I know that don't put up with nothing you wouldn't want your daughter to go through if you plan on having kids or your sister or your mom, whoever, you wouldn't want to see them going through. I'm doing a lot of rambling and a lot of talking. I'm going to finish my hair and I'm going to come back to y'all. Let y'all see the final product. All right, so this is the finished product. I need my ends clips, so not too much. Leave a comment below. Let me know what y'all want to know. What y'all want to see. Hopefully you guys got to take some advice from this and help you guys get through your heartbreak or whatever you're going through. Follow me on Instagram at itss.nunu with three U's. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure your post notification bell is on to get notified whenever I post. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.